Hello everyone, I uh, hope you're well, I uh, hope you're planning for a very good weekend. Um, I thought I would talk with you rather than do some writing because of course my my hand still is not back up to scratch. Um, as you saw from that shaky video yesterday, which was quite funny for me as well. Um, I, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the classes, uh, about the events we have up on Eventbrite. Uh, so those of you who had signed up, you would know that I had to cancel all the classes in January because I was told by the doctor to take three months off, which is not going to happen because it's just too much to do. Um, I am working less, uh, a lot less. I'm, I didn't really come in in January. Um, I came in last week, Thursday and last week, last week, Tuesday and Thursday um, for like six hours. Um, but we are starting back the classes in February. Um, the first class is a, a calligraphy and meditation class, which obviously you don't need to, you don't need to do calligraphy for. So um, if you, if, if those of you who follow me don't do calligraphy, um, just join the class. It's a great meditative space. It really does help you with relaxing. It's just pencil work and making straight lines, but I do some, uh, a guided meditation and some breathing practice. Um, to help you understand how this meditative practice works. It's it's like a different approach to meditation, which is really fun. If you do do calligraphy, um, it's it's great. Uh, for, you, for those of you who are just focusing on handwriting, it's also a really wonderful approach. So, so by all means, do, do check that out. Um, we, Telmo Ling, who is my uh, admin assistant, who's helping out, she posts all the classes. That's you know, you've been seeing a lot of work going on. It's it's not me doing it. Um, the I, I decided to change the structure of the way that the, the, the events run. So one of the things I've been really concerned about with calligraphers, with practitioners, is the, their lack of knowledge of the history of the script. And lots of people have written to me and said, oh, how, how, where do I start with this? So I thought... Um, that I would want to set up some lectures. So what I've done is we have classes, which are normally two, two which are normally three hours. We have a, a two hour, a, a two hour writing session, and then we have a break and then a 45 minute uh, Q&A. We have lectures and they are also roughly three hours. Um, again, same writing practice, uh, sorry, talking for roughly sort of uh, one and a half to two hours, and then a QA and a afterwards. Um, and then we have workshops, and the workshops are on the weekend. So I've put the lectures on a Tuesday evening, uh, British time, so that that lecture supports the workshop on the Sunday. Now, there are some brilliant lectures. And even if you're not going to do the workshop on the Sunday, the lectures are fantastic. Go to Eventbrite and, and read up the descriptions. Um, there is one lecture which is which starts off the lecture series on the 16th of February which is out of this world. It took me 10 years of research to put this lecture together. It's one of the lectures I'm most well known for and it's one of the lectures that quite a few people have heard me do normally for an hour. So I cover three and a half thousand years of the Western alphabet. This is an amazing lecture. The lecture started when I attended Reading, and at Reading, James Mosley and Michael Harvey did this course where James did the sort of academic introduction to writing and covered a sort of 6,000 year period. It was really quite fascinating. Um, but when he got to, to the Middle Ages, of course, he sort of, uh, he moved over to type. Um, because James is principally a, sort of a, a, a type historian. Michael Harvey did um, some uh, demonstrations every Saturday. Uh, we had four three-day workshops with, with, with Michael, um, God rest his soul, such an amazing man. Um, and those workshops, we looked at how the letters formed. We did, uh, we did the letters in groups, so we covered them uh, roughly, you know, in a four, uh, a sort of 500 year period so that we covered the 2000 years. My lecture uh, started off because of their lecture. 
So I wanted to, to, to produce something that calligraphers could, could watch and understand a little bit more of the calligraphic history. So in the lecture on 3,500 years of the Western alphabet, we'll look at, we'll look at Egyptian hieroglyphs and how the cuneiform in the Middle East converged with those Egyptian hieroglyphs roughly around 1600 BC um, and how that then led to the development of Proto-Sinaitic and Proto-Canaanite script and how those scripts um, that we see then furthered the development of Phoenician and how the Phoenicians then took the script across to Europe because they were brilliant traders um, and how the Etruscans and the Greeks then took the script from the Phoenicians and of course, from there, we move into Greek script, into Roman scripts. Of course, in the Roman scripts, we have four major scripts. We also have um, the scripts used by the legionnaires. And then from Rome, we go into the Anshal scripts. And after Anshal, we look at uh, Carolingian, Proto-Gothic. Then we look at the Gothic scripts. So we'll cover all the Gothic scripts, the basic Gothic scripts, textualis quadrata, semi quadrata, uh, fractal batard, um, Flemish current schrift, rotunda. Uh, let, uh, there's this beautiful script in Burgundy called Lettre de Bourgogne, which is so beautiful. Um, and then we move out of the Gothic period into the Renaissance period. We'll start with the Humanist minuscule, then move on to the, uh, onto the Cancellaresca family. And then we see the development of Cancellaresca into English round hand. We'll cover that sort of two and a half hundred year period of the English round hand script. And then we will look at the development of, uh, of the script as it moves out of England uh, into lots of other countries and uh, landing in America and turning into evolving into Spencerian and then giving birth to things like uh, engrossers and engravers. I also want to touch touch on modern calligraphy and how modern calligraphy developed out of this tradition because I think it's really important that modern calligraphers have an understanding of of the place of their script in this uh, in this this sort of pantheon of scripts. Um, it's it's an amazing lecture. We'll I'll also look at some ruling pen work and brush work, brush work because they're slightly more contemporary. So it's it's a general information lecture. If you have any interest in writing. If you want to know where the 26 letters of our alphabet come from, um, this, is, this is a great, great lecture. Uh, the lecture will be available um, for two months after you've you know, attended the class. If you've missed the class, uh, then you can purchase the lecture, you can download it. Uh, you can purchase or you can watch it, um, you can stream it. So there's, it's, I can't tell you how excited I am to start all the classes with this one lecture because it really puts our historical uh, calligraphic history into context. So um, share this around, tell people. Um, it'd be great to see you guys there. I'm, I'm really, 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 really excited about this. Uh, normally this lecture is about 45 minutes to an hour um, and I am rushing to get it finished because there is so much to do. This time I'm going to give myself roughly two to two and a half hours to cover all of this. So there is a lot to cover. Um, I'm, I'm, I have so much to show you, so much to share with you on this. Uh, and then from there, we move into, you know, the classes and the, and the other lectures, which are uh, script specific. And then the workshops, which we have on the Sunday, some workshops are on a Saturday and Sunday, because they, they, they need two days, some run up for two weekends. So there's, there's a lot going on. So, so by all means, sort of share it with your friends, join the classes, join the workshops, uh, join the lectures. The lectures, are, they're only five pounds. I decided to keep it quite inexpensive because I really wanted people to benefit from the history of these lectures. So um, I've run out of breath now. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll do some more writing next week, but um, I, I think we'll need to wait for a little bit longer until I can get back to my, my sort of smoothness of script. So thanks very much and I will I'll see you guys soon. Have a good weekend. Stay safe. Please wear a mask. Wash your hands. Please practice social distancing. You you really don't want this virus. Please please be careful out there. Thank you.